rearrange formula to isolate variables formula with squares and cubes so we have two formulas here one is with squares and the other one with cubes right now volume v equals to x cube that is a volume of a cube right cube with sides of x now from here we need to isolate x so how do we do it so for cube it is cube root like for square we do square root for cube we do cube root so volumes cube root we write like this volumes cube root is equals to x so that is how we isolate x here so let's understand what is cube root for example if the volume is equals to let's say 1000 cc right cubic centimeter in that case and let us say that this is enclosed in a cubic structure let's say the cubic structure is like this Okay, then find the side length of this cubic structure. How will you do it? So we say, well, the volume should be length into width into height, which is x cube, right? So we say volume is 1000, which is volume is x cube. So we say x cube equals to 1000. So x is equals to cube root of 1000. Cube root of 1000, if you use calculator, you get the answer as 10. Cube root really means like square root is when you multiply 10 times 10, you get 100, right? So square root of 100 is 10. Similarly, cube root of 1000 is 10. How? You see 10 times 10 times 10 gives you 1000, right? So the cube root of 1000 is 10 and that is the answer. So cubic centimeters, we'll say each unit is 10 centimeter and that's how we can also solve problems using this formula volume equals to x cube now let's look into the other formula it is volume equals to pi r square h this is actually volume of a cylinder so let's say we have a cylinder here whose height is h that means from here to here the height of the cylinder is h from here to here, okay? And r is the radius. Radius is from here to here. That is r from both. That is r. The radius of the cylinder is r. In that case, volume of the cylinder is given by the formula v equals to pi r square h. Now, let us say you are given the volume and if you have to find the height, how will you find height? That means isolate height, right? So, let's try to isolate height. To isolate height, what can I do? I can divide by pi r square both sides, right? So I have volume divided by pi r square will give me height. So that is how I can rearrange this formula and find height, right? If you want to find radius, then what will you do? So this is height formula, right? And if you want to do radius, then what should you do? So let's then we have to divide by pi and h, right? So we say radius square is equals to volume divided by pi and h, pi and h, right? But this is radius square. To get radius, we'll say r equals to square root of volume divided by pi and h. So that is how you get radius. For, as with relation to volume and height of a cylinder, right? So that is how you can rearrange this formula, right? So I've just given you hints here. I would like you to copy these formulas and then follow steps to isolate the variables. So first isolate R and then isolate H. That is your practice problem. Okay. So try to do that on your own. Okay. Thank you.